Okay, guys. Now I'm going to um, take you on a little journey into uh, the world of synchronous motors. All right. So in the microwaves, you get one of these. They're just basically the, what turns the turntable around or the, the glass dish, the bottom. And what I do is I usually just chuck them all in a bucket until I've got quite a few of them. And then I'll spend a little bit of time just undoing them. Um, just do them in a batch. It just it seems to be easier when I'm in a fiddly mood, when I don't mind, you know, doing some uh, fiddly stuff. This stuff, it's actually quite... It's um, using fine motor skills, but it's also requiring a little bit of leverage as well. So it's not something you can, you know, like a, a five-year-old kid can do. You, you really need to get a little bit of effort into just moving those little tabs of sheet metal just to open it up. Now, once you've got it, all that, it's a little, should be, oh, there we go, it just pops off easy. So I just, uh, sheet metal goes in the sheet metal bucket. There, these, um, these gears, I'll just pop them in, into a, into a container, and then I'll work out whether I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do with them later. Sometimes I'll, uh, offload them to people who are doing dioramas, you know, things like Warhammer dioramas and stuff like that. Other times, people are doing a little bit of steampunk. Yeah, there's um, just a separating, just a separating bit of sheet metal in between the gears and the good stuff, which is the copper. Yeah, there's not a lot of copper, but it is quite compact. Like you get somewhere there's like a little bit disappointing. There's not really that much in it. And then you get stuff like this where it's like, oh yeah, that's actually, that's actually worth doing. That's, that's got the weight of a couple of 20 cent pieces in it. Whereas this one's not even one. Okay. So there's a little bit of difference in them. All right. I haven't really kept tabs on um, which one came out of what, uh, which microwave, because it's, I don't know, I just like the fun of going in there and intervening. Going in there and just finding out. All right, now this particular one, um, I don't know if you can see it. It's actually, it's not little tabs. What it is is it's been punched through, and where it's been punched through, it's actually got a tiny lip on the penetration, and so you just need to roll it over and they'll separate. Again, need to use a little bit of leverage. Um, there we go. And, uh, yeah, doesn't take long. It's a little bit like uh, oyster shucking, I guess. I don't know. I've never really done oyster shucking, so uh, yeah. Then you get you build up a little bit of a technique. I like to just move one of the tabs over so I can get a bit of clearance behind it, so I can actually grab hold of him. Once you do, straight out. Now there is a little magnet there. It's a very very weak magnet. Um, I don't think it's got much use. Um, okay, now there are brass tabs here, so they're worth hanging on to as well. This one's a little bit reluctant, and yeah, not much in that one. Okay, so let's find a heavy one. This one feels a bit heavy. Let's see what he's got in him. All right, again, just the little tiny sheet metal tabs, pulling them over. Oh, come on. Yeah, on, off you go. Come on. That's it. All right. Um, yeah, you just got to get the right purchase, or the right grab it the right way, and then give it a little bit of, a little bit of oomph. All right, get rid of the gears. Now these have got a, a like a light grease on them, so they're a bit icky, which is why I'm using the screwdriver to pull them out. Um, that's right. I'm doing this next. I'm not, I better make sure it's in focus. Okay, so you can see where the tabs come over. What it looked like before is just hard up against the outer shell. So when you get the flathead in there, you can actually get it and give it a bit of a wriggle. There we go. Nice and simple. And then, oh, let's see what you are. Oh, yeah, a little bit of weight in that one. All right. So what it comes down to is... It's, is it worth doing one? Probably not. Is it worth doing a hundred? I would say so. If you've got, you know, a couple of hours, an afternoon, you could just rip through all of these. And, um, yeah, it'll add up. Ah, uh, take you a while to get to a kilo, but you will get there. So, um, that's what I do with the synchronous motors. There's, like I said, there's not a massive amount. Not worth chasing just one or two, but 
because I process so many microwaves, I um, there's no shortage for me for just you know how many of these little things I've got. I've got a bucket of them. Um, I've probably got another bucket somewhere else hiding somewhere underneath piles of stuff that I put somewhere temporarily, which is still there a year later. Yes, I think we all have that problem at some stage of our life. Okay, if it isn't got wheels, it'll stay there longer than you meant to put it there. All right, that's my theory. Anyway, all right, so, yeah, nice little brass tabs. They'll go in my small brass bucket. And, um, yeah, sheet metal. So, look, it's, it's up to you guys whether you think it's worthwhile going after them. Um, and as I said, the only reason I'm going after these is literally because I have got so many of them. Because uh, I'm doing the microwaves. It's one of the um, bits of value in a microwave that you can almost guarantee. So you can see just how much is in the small one. Well, let's find one of those bigger ones. All right. Now, let's peel this guy back. Oh, no, he's a bit brittle. He just wants to break. Okay, so no, again, just wants to break. All right, so this one, it's either got heated up or it's an older one or it's a slightly different plastic compound. There we go. Yeah, you can see there's um, there's actually a little bit of copper in that one. Now, how you uh, deal with it from here, that's, I've never come up with a neat way of doing it. There's no neat and tidy way of doing it. I just peel it off like an eggshell and then... <sighs> No matter how hard I try, I can never get these off in one piece. So what I found is probably the best you get to about there. Give them a squish and use the rest of them to, to wrap. All right. Now, this here, um, I think from memory, I had a good look at these a while back, and I think they're actually bare bright, which is the one of the highest grades you can get for um, copper. Um, and that really does add up. Uh, we, we were getting, in Australia, we were getting, oh, what was it, probably around about, by the time we actually got it to the yards and we are still getting paid um, without an ABN, it was about, I think we're getting about 10 bucks. And I have heard of some people that are getting 12 or even $13 at one stage. They may have had an ABN, but that's per kilo. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, what's that? <laughs> There's, what, four and a half pound per kilo? So you work out the maths. Um, I'm busy enough trying to wind this thing up. Okay. Um, all right. Yep, I, that's reddish enough to be bare bright, I'd say. And bring that right in to have a look at. Try and get some light on it. Yeah, I, I, reckon, I reckon that's bare bright. I don't think there's any varnish or lacquer on that. It's too fine. Yeah, so from memory, I'm pretty sure they end up being bare bright. And... Um, Actually, that's that's a bit of weight. That's, yeah, like I said before, probably a couple of 20 cent piece worth pieces. So, yeah, um, that will add up. I reckon I reckon a couple of hours you might get a kilo worth out of these. But uh, you guys work out whether it's worthwhile or not. I personally think it is, but it is micro strapping at its best. This is really what micro scrapping is about. It's just taking a small amount of value out of small items or... Or small amount, small amount of value out of you know a large amount of small items or a process. Um, sometimes it's the medium or the biggest stuff. Um, you, I guess you call it micro scrapping as well because you're after very small stuff. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, that's actually more than I expected to get. So, but again, that was one of the large ones. So these these ones here, this one here, for example, if I peel him back, yeah, I'm not going to be. Not going to get too much out of him. But okay, that is how you scrap the um, synchronous motors. Um, so, just to summarise, I honestly think that it's not worth doing unless you've got uh, a bucket of them. Once you get a bucket of them, though, yep. So, I don't know whether you want to trade for them, whether you want to do a whole heap of um, scrapping of microwaves, but uh, yeah, however you manage to get your hands on them. Um, plus there's gears, all sorts of plastic gears. Uh, look, you know, the local kindergarten or, or primary school might uh, want some for their, for their art room. Uh, you never know, you might find someone who wants to actually make some, uh, like a three-dimensional picture and, you know, they'll paint them all and put them up and make them look metal, 
metally distressed metal or whatever. Um, all just pretty colours now. There's there's quite a bit of um, pretty colours going on at the moment. It's a bit of a theme. We go through different uh, phases in our society. At the moment, it's all about rainbows. So, yeah, there's that. So imagine having rainbow gears. That's one. <laughs> Something is a possibility. Uh, a little bit of a different take. Anyway, um, I hope you like this video. And um, the, i just like to, a little bit of a shout out to Polly Prophet. Uh, for donating a tripod so I can actually have a half decent conversation and actually do two-handed work while I'm actually uh, having a chat and uh, guys please feel free to um, give me comments let me know what you like or don't like I, I'm, I'm open to criticism absolutely but at the end of the day not everyone likes everything and I totally get that Different people will be here for different reasons, um, but hopefully I can impart some of my knowledge to people who will just go, yeah, okay, that wasn't too bad. It was worth putting up with his voice just to uh, just to hear that one bit of one bit of knowledge. But yeah, like I said, um, it adds up. Okay, thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.